one and a half now and it is much overdue for us to do another pup date. We have gotten so many questions and we love that you love our Theo. And while he hates being here, we're gonna make this quick. Tell the people what they wanna know. <laughs> Theo is still adorable and he is still a troublemaker. Luckily, he has been house trained. Um, since he was only four months old, you can go back and watch our six month pup date for those updates. But we did get him from a breeder. Um, I just wanna reiterate that we mentioned this in our first video, we mentioned in all of our videos. Um, I totally understand the theory behind adopt and not shop. It's so great and if we were ever to have another dog, I think we'd definitely rescue. But we made the right decision for our family by picking Theo. Um, we wanted something that was the right temperament for our family with our first dog and we couldn't be happier. By temperament, Theo is very sweet. Um, he's also very needy, which is like a very strange um, kind of juxtaposition because he doesn't like to be cuddled. Like the fact that he's doing this is a really big deal. Um, he usually likes to lay by our feet. But if somebody else is like hugging or if like my mom comes in and hugs me, he like immediately will bark and whine and he like wants to be included in the hug. He feels very left out. So um, definitely a little needy one here, but he's being really sweet right now. I'm not sure what's up. So some of our fears about Theo are that he might be a little bit possessive. Um, he is fine usually with humans, but with other dogs, he like doesn't like them to come near us. Oh, I know you're so uncomfortable. He doesn't like them to come near us. He doesn't, um, if they do, he'll like swipe in between. So um, generally it's fine. He's not an aggressive dog, but it is kind of scary sometimes. And it does make me worry about um, just like having a kid and like maybe having children around him. Although the kids that have played with him have been really great. He's just like a little bit nervous playing with them. Like his tail goes down and he gets a little scared. Like why is this person coming up to me? He understands that they're children and not adults. And so he is very gentle, but it does make me a little nervous about um, him just feeling left out and needy. Um, Theo has still been really fun. Um, I don't know why he's so tired. What's wrong? Why are you so tired? Um, he sleeps all the time, just like a puppy. Um, they say that dogs pretty much stay puppies until they're two, and we've definitely seen that to be true. Um, the endless games of fetch are still happening, but they are slowing down a little bit, and it kind of makes us sad. But let's address the elephant in the room. Theo is much bigger than anticipated. Um, Theo is by breed a mini golden doodle but he is um, about 45 pounds the last time we checked. Um, that may have been a heavy day. I think he rings in closer to 40 usually. But yeah, it is um, a bit of a surprise. His mom is 25 pounds and his dad is 35, so that was the range that they gave us. Um, clearly our little one's an overachiever because he is um, definitely the higher end of it. But to be honest, we don't really mind it. The only time that it really gets to be a problem is when he's chasing squirrels and pulling me, which is not something that we are happy with. Um, Theo has been um, eating fresh food. That's one big change that we made since the last time we talked. Um, Theo has tried Fresh Pet. He has also tried Pet Plate. Um, and we've also tried the Farmer's Dog. Um, we do mix a little bit of kibble in there to make sure that he's getting all of the nutrients that he needs. Um, it's usually about half a cup of that and then half a cup of his regular food. To be honest, I may start making my own blend at some point, but Raw, um, raw foods like vegetables, like carrots and green beans and broccoli, quinoa, are all so good for them. If you mix it with a little bit of like shredded chicken breast, he just eats it up. Rice is really great. What is going on, buddy? Okay, you can yawn. <laughs> um, and so having those ingredients, um, of course, it's a luxury to be able to afford fresh food um, and then also to be able to make it. So um, at some point, it's my goal, maybe like 2020, Theo loves the dog treats from Trader Joe's. They're usually $1.99 to $2.99 a bag, and we go through them so fast that we pick the beef and uh, chicken ones. They're usually little sticks, and one of our favorite things to do is to take piece, a piece of the stick and put it inside the Kong. It keeps him busy for so long, um, which is really great. So we give this to him, put this one inside too. Here you go, and he'll take it in his mouth, and then put it down and play with it and get it out. We did take a puppy training class that was really interesting. Um, realized that he's not as well behaved as we thought because when surrounded by other dogs, he's definitely um, antsy and um, likes attention. So 
he did pretty well, but we did one of our basic things like sit, stay, things he knew, and then also some new things. He learned um, come close, which was really good. He learned um, some other tricks, so he learned how to crawl. That was funny. I'll have to show you guys that one. Um, and he learned um, just some basic commands, so it's stuff that you can do at home. These classes are interesting because no one for one hour a week for six weeks is going to be able to train your dog. What they're doing is they're training you on how to communicate with your dog and then it's up to you to do that at home. So we learned a lot from um, videos. We learned, um, I'll link to some of the videos that we really relied on when I was getting Theo and puppy training. Um, Zach George is incredible. That's pretty much all of his videos we loved. Um, and you just learn a lot. And it's not about your dog. It's really about you and like how you're going to train your dog. As far as tricks go, Theo is um, still like nailing it. So he's very smart. I think Golden Doodles and themselves are just really smart. But with treats, we've been able to teach him um, the obvious ones. So sit, stay, come, um, lay down, roll over, although he only goes halfway. Um, he's learned crawl. He's learned bow, which is really cool. Um, we also call that yoga, which is like a fun party trick. Um, he's learned to leave it, so even if you put treats on his paws, he'll leave them until you tell him his uh, command, which is to, okay, we say okay, to kind of let him know that it's okay to, to do whatever it is, it's his release word. And we do, um, what else? Oh, we do kiss. We do give me kiss. Um, and so he'll like put his nose on your face, which is really cute. Um, although my brother-in-law took the hit with that because we first taught shake. And when we were saying kiss, for whatever reason, he, when we went forward, he thought we were doing shake, so he would like shake your face and claw your face. So he's definitely um, the MVP to teach Theo that one. Um, my husband also taught Theo something really cute. So when we're sitting on a bench, like putting our shoes on, he'll tap his leg twice, um, like this, and then Theo will go underneath his legs um, and just kind of sit there and be pet. So it's a nice way to kind of have him calm before his walks in the morning, which is really nice.